Hi, this is Kate Oliver with That's My Entertainment. I'm here with Kai Eric Erickson with, um, in the film See No Evil 2, and we're gonna get some lowdown. Kai. I have the lowdown. <laughs> that is the one thing I have. So I, I haven't seen the first one. I'm kind of weird about horror films. Right. Tell me how, it, if you were, you were in the first movie, correct? I was not in the first one. Okay. But here's the deal. You don't have to have seen the first one to jump into the second one. Oh. Um, if you're a fan of the franchise and if you've seen it, that's great. If you're not familiar with the film and you haven't seen the first one, go see the second one. It's still fantastic and uh, it takes a whole new twist. Uh, the first one has a lot of similar kills mm -hmm. and in the second one everyone gets their own unique kill. Oh. Um, but the second one does pick up where the first one left off with okay. Jacob Goodnight and the bodies of those that he killed in the first film being brought to the morgue mm -hmm. where Danielle Harris and myself work okay. um, and then Jacob Goodnight comes back to life where he proceeds to torment us and the others <laughs> and go on his rampage. And how did you, how was it working with, well I know him's Kane, yes. how was it? It was fantastic, yeah. yeah Kane is absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, he's a big dude. <laughs> And he is fast, <laughs> and he is scary. If uh, if we didn't spend so much time with him off uh, offset with his soft spoken, you know, kindness, mm -hmm. I I, you know, <laughs> I might be ruined for life. <laughs> and then um, tell me more about your character. Uh, well, I play Seth, mm -hmm. who works at the morgue. Uh, myself and Danielle Harris, I guess we sort of head up the morgue. We're we're well, we, well, we we're under Michael Eklund. He's in, he's in charge of the morgue, and okay. but we're we're pretty good at our jobs. At least from what we could figure out. We know what we're doing. We know about dead bodies and stuff. And, uh, and so basically, Seth's like an earnest, honest guy, which was a, a fun character for me to play because I often play characters with um, a bit of an edge or, or a chip on their shoulder. Uh -huh. So it was nice to play just like a nice dude. You know, I think people will like Seth. I hope they do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I'm just drawing a blank, sorry. Um, with your... Back, like your background, I know you're from Brit British Columbia? I was born, in Van yeah. born and raised in Vancouver, yeah. Yes. So how was it, um, well actually, where was the film, where was it filmed at? It was shot in Vancouver. Okay. It was shot up there. Um, we shot in, in a, an abandoned mental asylum. Um, huge buildings, like I think there's like 10 of them on the, on the compound. It's a huge, huge chunk of land and they've got these big old brick buildings. Um, I can't remember how many people it housed back in, in the in its you know prime, but um, they're totally haunted. I mean, the place is it's incredibly spooky. There's these tunnels underneath all the buildings, and so we were shooting down in these in these dark, dingy tunnels, and it's uh, it's haunted, <laughs> guaranteed. Everyone has a story about this place. Oh, yeah. What's your story? Um, I've actually filmed throughout my career. I've actually filmed there a, t a bunch of times. Really? Yeah. Um, I have another tunnel story. I was going to say that on, on this shoot, the, the biggest thing that we had a problem with were the pipes. Mm -hmm. And the pipes were completely quiet until we shot a scene that was either really emotional or really upsetting. And then they'd bang and clunk and there was all this noise. Oh, I'm getting like, no, oh, goosebumps. It was really quite bizarre. But I was shooting another thing there years ago. I think it was 4400 actually. And there's rumors about certain buildings and certain floors being haunted. And, and, and there, the main building, the third floor, you're not even allowed to go on, apparently, because it's so haunted. So they won't even let you film on that floor. You can do the fourth, you can do the second, you can do the first, can't do the third. So of course on lunch, I'm like, oh, let's go to the third floor. <laughs> and then I had heard about the tunnels, so it's like, let's go find the tunnels. <laughs> and so my buddy who was working on the show for that episode, on lunch we decided to venture down to the tunnels. And like the dark, dingy tunnels, like dripping water and, and I mean, spooky. Uh, and we go down and we're venturing along and we round a corner and there is a dude on a ladder, like fixing these pipes, and he just kind of looks over at us and pauses what he's doing, and we, we got the hell out of there. We were like, all right, we're out, see you later. I, that could have been a ghost, I don't know. I don't know. And I was gonna ask you. <laughs> I don't, could have been. Um, when does, uh, October 17th, correct? October 17th, yes. Okay. And, um, October 17th, digital download, and then on the 21st, the Blu-ray is up. So, okay. so if you if you want to get a jump on the on the do the seventeenth. The seventeenth. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can you tell us? 
well, I don't want to give too many secrets away. Okay. Um, it's an exciting film. It's action-packed. You know, it's 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 kind of like a. It's quite different than the first one. It's got a different tone. It's, it looks different. Um, I'm excited about it. It, it. I think it turned out really well. So so go see the film. I think it's good. Um, if you don't like it, um, we'll give you your money back. Oh, I, no. I can't really say that. No, 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 no. But go see it. You'll you'll enjoy it. Great. Great. This is Kate Oliver with Best Fine Entertainment. What's yours? 